Hello and welcome back to all my Motodians. In this video, we're talking scooters. No, not the gas kind. Yes, the electric kind. I recently picked up a Ninebot ES3 by Segway and I've tested it out for a whole week and I'm gonna give you guys my initial thoughts of this product. So let's get to it. The next level of e-scooters is equipped with an internal and external lithium ion battery that delivers double that of the ES1. That means you can go further and quicker and it helps you reach your destination faster. The extra power comes with a controlled acceleration for a smooth ride and a cruise control option so you can ride in comfort. Thanks to the textured anti-slip handle, you can enjoy a better grip and control. The built-in LED display shows your speed and remaining battery life, so you always have the information you need. Turn on the headlight with a quick click of the power button. The ES3 comes with both an internal and a removable lithium iron battery. Let's talk about portability. The ES3 is lightweight and foldable. The one-click folding mechanism allows this lightweight electric scooter to be carried on public transportation, stored in your car, and more. It conveniently goes anywhere. Built for performance and comfort, the S3 has a built-in front shock absorber that provides smooth ride even at high speeds. It features an electrical and mechanical brake for increased safety. Now, let's talk about the ES3. The ES3 is essentially an ES1 with an additional external battery. Now, there are a few things about this budget or entry level first generation scooter dressed up as the latest greatest reincarnation of it. Some of the things I do like about it is I realized uh, watching some videos that they have changed the grips on the uh, handlebars. I like these things, they're diamond plated and they're really nice. I feel short handed when I'm driving it around. Some of the things I don't like about it, or one thing I don't like about it, is the braking system. The braking system doesn't, it doesn't give me that confidence that I feel though, that I'd, I'd have to use if I need to brake in an emergency situation and come to a stop really fast. That, that's one of the trade-offs for going for a budget scooter. Secondly, would be the um, folding mechanism. While the folding mechanism does do a good job of not folding up on you, I don't feel totally safe that the two pins that stick out and hold into the little uh, recesses to hold the scooter uh, in the up lock position really are, you know, are hardened enough to really handle that stuff or the aluminum pouch that it sits in is actually reinforced enough to really withstand this, the rough streets in the city. Some other things that I like about it, I do like the distance in it. I have yet to really burn through a whole battery and run the distance, but being in the city that I'm in, Montreal, we have a lot of hills and it's an island uh, city. So yeah, you get the picture. So I find that it does help having this. Mind you, I have been on some hills where I had to stop and get off and walk up, but it's pretty, you know, it's pretty few and far in between. Again, I've only had it for a month, uh, excuse me, a week, and those are some of the things that I really like about it. The wheels are pretty small, so stability is also, you know, questionable at times, especially going at high rate of speed and doing some, cor um, some corners. I find that I want to keep the scooter upright and not really lean with it because I don't want it to, to low slide, to low slide it and slip out. But I do find that it does pick up speed and the acceleration is there quite often. For what I paid for it, being it a budget entry level Segway 9 bot scooter, an ES1 dressed up as an ES3, I do feel myself being drawn towards one with better braking system. So in the near future, I might return this one and pick up the Segway 9 bot Max just for the added features of the brake. I'll pay that extra little dollars because I'm still not sure that this is the right scooter for me. And Hey guys, weigh in. Tell me what you guys' experience has been with the 
ES3 and uh yeah or even the ES1 because essentially it is an ES1 with an external battery so hey guys hit me up drop a comment in the section below let me know what you guys' take is on the scooter and uh we'll get some discussion generated and started so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching